Okay, folks. Um, what you see here, here, is a CDR, yeah, okay, a Maxell CDR, yeah. I mean, not that that matters. In a little side plate, and there's water. So we can just go a bit different with it. Right, you've seen CDs in a microwave. You may have seen earlier what happens if you put a DVD R. Well. Yeah, it wasn't DVD R, it was a DVD ROM um, in a microwave with it in the card sleeve. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to see what happens if you microwave a CD in a little pool of water. Now, bear in mind the water is also there to not damage the microwave. This is a 900 watt microwave. It is the same ones we used earlier. 30 seconds. I don't think we're going to need it. And we're going to power it up now. Oh, this is some sparks. Oh, I could see it. I'm really hoping this isn't leaking because this is going to knack at my phone otherwise. But oh, can you see those flashing lights? Yeah. It's like seeing Tron for the first time, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Wasn't so good. Oh, but the results look awesome. Check this shit. Look at that, dude. Oh, and that absolutely stinks. Oh, look at that. Right. Well, this is really cool. Okay. Um, this is an interesting one. We've basically got the same effect as if you stick one of these in the microwave in a normal way. But we did it in such a way that it was more controlled. And so it had the same effect without the likelihood of damage. That's, 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 that's really cool. Uh, do try this at home.